Doug, what a difference 24 hours makes. Um, totally different team on the ice tonight. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, they they want to compete. They want to play. Uh, 2-1 game Friday, we had a big chance. Uh, it was just another level last night, but they came back, they played hard, they believed in themselves, and they deserve to win tonight. I mean, they played very well, and they played very hard. Nelson Armstrong, straight off the plane, he's been training with Peter Repeats anyway, so his level of fitness is good anyway. But when he starts coming out there, introduce himself to the Lightning faithful with a bit of a scuffle with Robert Farmer there. Um, what a great way to introduce himself. He, he's a wonderful, I mean, just just a meat and potatoes hockey player, a good person, hardworking. He's going to do his MBA at the University of Buckingham. He's a wonderful addition. We've been waiting for him. He's going to really help our team. I noticed as well, that gives you now the versatility because now you've got people like Trevor Moorbeck and you've got uh, Cole Shudra. You, you can push them up a little bit more, and that made a big difference tonight. Chris, it's the first time since I've been here we've had 10 forwards and 60. I'm not making any excuses, but it does give us a, a little bit of flexibility when, you know, Jonas had a slight injury and we couldn't play him. Uh, its Depth is so, so important every Saturday, Sunday. Well, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Rich, uh, your thoughts after that? I mean, it's obviously been a tough weekend for you guys, lining on the back of uh, two tough games up in Belfast. Um, bit of penalty trouble there in the first couple of periods. Well, yeah, I think that was uh, part of the reason why uh, we, did, we didn't win tonight. I mean, uh, you know, you can only take so many unnecessary penalties before it comes to bite you in the ass, and that's exactly what happened in the second period. And, uh, you know, I mean, we gave them momentum, but we didn't create very much in the first period. We didn't put them on their heels. We didn't make them have to go back uh, 200 feet to get the puck and we didn't play uh, with a physical presence until the third period when uh, we started creating a little bit but by then it was too late. We certainly seem to have the momentum in that period sort of a three minute period in the second you know, three minute period to play in the second period you know um, what were you thinking at that point? Well I mean the one thing that I saw that uh, you know anytime you you know you get into these games where maybe uh, you know you, you the players take the other team a little bit lightly and them coming off two games in Belfast. Uh, you know, guys start getting a little bit individualistic, um, trying to do too much on their own with the puck instead of using their teammates. Saw that an awful lot tonight, and that was uh, part of the, you know, part of the problem in the offensive zone. The second part is if you don't get anybody to go stand in front of the goalie, I mean, uh, shots you get through to uh, through to the net can make a, a goalie's night very easily. And, and uh, saw a lot of that tonight. And, uh, you know, we played a pretty good game against Coventry last night. And, you know, it's sometimes natural that guys just think sometimes that you uh, you can put your skates on and you're and you're going to go out there and 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 beat the team and the, there is no game in this league and we've ex, you know we've discussed that and the players need to understand that that uh, you're only as good as your last shift and we weren't very good tonight